this video show the simple steps of creating the Hibernate, generating the Hibernate code and then use the Eclipse to program the Hibernate. Here is the summary of these videos. Uh, first of all, I will create a database in my SQL da database. And then I will decide the persistent structures, what I want to save in the UML class diagram. And then I will generate an entity relationship diagram from UML class diagram. And then I will generate database and hibernate code and automatically from the database visual architect. And then I will develop a simple program to insert data to database. And finally, I will show how to develop simple program to query database. Okay, let's just start the MySQL. <coughs> And I have the MySQL installed here, and there is no database created. So let me just create one, create database. And I would like to use a patient uh, management as an example. Then I create the patient management database. I created this one. And then let's finish this, this, start, this step. OK. And then I would decide the structure in UML class diagram. Let me go to the database visual architect. You can use the database visual architect Java edition or professional edition to do this. To do it, it is simple. You just click on the UML button in toolbar and go to class diagram. And then after you create a class diagram, you can input the package. For example, I would like to see scum.patientmanagement.model. This is the basic package I want to store in my class. And then I can create the ORM persistable class here. And I create one, say this is a patient. And the patient, I can have some attribute on it. Then I can add an attribute, say, of course, have name. And patient also have the, say, uh, register day. And, uh, sorry, this one is a date. And then, and I can input say this is a remark, this string, <coughs> and one patient should have multiple uh, visit record. Visit record. Then I can create a relationship here using the resource icon. This is a one to many associations. Then I just create here, and then say this is a visit record, something like that. <coughs> And then visit record, I have to add some attributes, say visit date. And I will say something like uh, result, a uh, reason. Also have string, and result, also a string. And let me just create one more class, say every visit I have one, one doctor to take care about this patient. So there is a one uh, to one relationship then I can create the visit have doctor something like that and also the doctor can have <coughs> name of doctor and maybe just one name is okay then I decide the basic persistent structure have the patients visit record and also the doctor okay I have finished the second step now then I move on to the first step to generate the ERD from UML class diagram. <coughs> now I can right click on the class diagram to synchronize to entity relationship diagram. I just right click synchronize. And then it will ask me to provide the name for the entity relationship diagram or select one. I just create new and patient management. Then OK. Then Allah asked me to provide the primary key. I just use default one. Then I close it. Then now I have the patient's visit record and also doctor. You see the string convert to watch 255 by default. You can change, of course. For example, the name should no longer than 128. Then I can input something like that. And OK, now i got the database. Let me just save the project first. I save the projects. Say this is a patient management. 
okay then <laughs> I can go to generate the okay let me just go back to the summary now I have finished it to generate entity relationship diagram and UML class diagram okay the next step is to generate database and hibernate code and let me just go to generate code I can click the OLM here object manage object relational mapping button and then I have the generate code uh, menu item I click the generate code and then you will see there is a database gen code generation uh, dialog box let me select some before I select the code generation let me configure the database I can go to the database options to select which database I want I want uh, my SQL and I can also download the driver and after I click download driver it will connect to internet and download driver for me just wait a second okay then I got the driver now and I can input the host name it is a local host the database name I just create is patient management and I can have the user I just use the root and let me use the InnoDB and let me test the connections it is uh, not work patient management I spell one P A T I uh, let's see P A T I E N T T I M A N A G E M G E I yes I test it is success <coughs> okay then I just click OK and then I can go to configure the code um, before I generate the code let me go to the Eclipse I have prepared a empty project in Eclipse and I want to generate code to this project so I can open the property to copy the path and come back here to paste the path to here and then I can uncheck everything just generate simple one and then click OK then it will generate the code and uh, also the database uh, just a second let me double check um, in database generation I can take the export to da database if I take this one it will um, connect to database and create a table let me just take this one and generate again and then it will generate the database and call again okay then I can go to the my SQL to see um, say and I can go to patient management okay then I can show the tables <coughs> you see the doctor patient and which record is created let's just see the patient and have the name which is the date and we mark okay and the length you can see this is a 128 this is a 255 okay